Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is May the 24th, 2022. We're going to talk about in the video today, trying to show you something that no one is ready for. I'm going to show you all this from the price chart today in NVIDIA. So welcome to everyone who is new to the channel. This is what I do. You guys can see in front of you right now is a price prediction that I have ongoing. I'm looking for the price in NVIDIA to go down. You guys can see it. Now, currently the market hasn't gone down which gives me this reason to come in and do this video to show you that nobody's really ready for what's about to come in nvidia so to everyone before i get started go ahead hit the like button share the video and also subscribe to my channel tap that bell notification as well i would definitely recommend that because whenever the market changes i want us to make sure that we stay ahead of the competition and we win and we profit and the only way that we can do that is by being ahead of the market okay so let's look at this real quick. You guys can see that earnings is coming up so far on May the 25th, which is tomorrow in NVIDIA. Now, a lot of the earnings releases has caused or we've seen some massive decline in the stock's price, right? Walmart, Target, Costco, Snap, a lot of these companies that releases their earnings at the hours, the market is down 20, 30, 40%. Is this gonna be the same case for NVIDIA? What do you think? Because when you look at the market in NVIDIA, right? The market has done a pretty good job of keeping the price elevated. I give the market credit for that. Like they don't want to continue to allow this downtrend to play out right now. It looks as if they're waiting for this earnings release before they'll let the market continue to break down. I mean, when you look at the overall market as a whole, I mean, the stock market in general is not positive. So even if NVIDIA was to hit a home run in its earnings and revenue release, right? The market may still fall 15, 20%. And you guys will be scratching your head. Why in the world is the price going down? Well, because the market doesn't care about how much money NVIDIA is making. The market doesn't care about new products that they're coming out with. They worry about whether or not they're in profit or they're in a lost position. And it's like a cascading event. If one person sells out massively, then the next person will do the same thing because it will cause them to also be losing in their positions. And then all of that fundamental analysis, all of that information that you did your research on is now completely irrelevant because people want to sell. So I still think that the price in NVIDIA is still weak. I haven't seen anything convincing on the price chart that would let me know that the buyers really want to push up this stock's price. Look this on a three day, right? I don't see it. Now, let me show you all the five months because I don't think a lot of people are looking at price charts on a five monthly time frame. Look at that. We have seven days and nine hours left. And look at this one five monthly price bar. Volume is coming in. Higher than the last, what, one, two, three, four, five, five monthly price bars. We are actually seeing people now coming into the market in NVIDIA and selling stock. This is what's going on. While many of you have been told to come in and buy the stock, somebody else is doing a whole lot more selling. Now, we have to consider where is the price going to go ultimately in NVIDIA, right? We got to consider these things. This all the way back, this goes all the way back to 2016. Are we going to head back here ultimately in NVIDIA? Because if so, we want to be buyers down here. Because it will confirm the trend that started back in 2016. And then price will be a lot cheaper. Now. I know many of you have seen videos to where people told you to come in and buy the dip. When NVIDIA was at 300, it fell down to 280. Somebody told you to buy the dip. Price continued to fall. Somebody else did another video in NVIDIA and told you to buy the dip at 260. You did. And now price continues to fall in NVIDIA. So they came out and did another video and told you to buy NVIDIA at 240. You did. And now price continues to fall in NVIDIA. So you came in and bought the dip again at 220. Okay. You came in about the dip again at 200. Okay. You came in about the dip at 180. And ultimately, we may see price come down to $80. Yes. I'm telling you this right now in May of 2022. 
And nobody's going to tell you all that right now because it's too early. But the price is indicative of what people think. And this is why it's very important for the buyers to come into the market in NVIDIA right now. Right now. And it's here around $160. Now, from my prediction, I'm looking for the market in NVIDIA to break that. To come down like to 150 or so you had to go back and listen to my last video to see what my price targets are but ultimately i'm seeing it coming down to like 120 to 125 dollars nothing has changed in the market for nvidia i know a lot of people are going to look forward to that uh earnings release though and the way that we can win is already being in position to expect the market in NVIDIA to go down or up or up. Okay. So now I'm not changing my price prediction right now. I'm still looking for the market in NVIDIA to go down. Now I can see that NVIDIA you got some bellwether stocks out here in the market and nvidia is one of them right people don't want to sell out in their nvidia which means that we may not see the price fall 25 percent okay but a lot of people felt that way in walmart as well right a lot of people felt that walmart couldn't fall 20 percent, and it did all right look at that you haven't seen a price bar this this spread this wide ever in Walmart's trading. Right? In any two weekly period, we haven't seen the price fall 20% in two weeks. What about Target? Look at Target. The market dynamics has changed. Look at Costco. Right? Look. The dynamics is changing. NVIDIA. We haven't seen that yet. Okay. Netflix. We've seen it. The market dynamics has changed. What about Tesla? We haven't seen it yet. So the market is telling you what people value most. People are still here buying Tesla. People are still here buying NVIDIA. People are still here buying AMD. These are the stocks so far that hasn't failed 20%. Is there a time coming? That's the question. What do you think? Maybe NVIDIA's time is on its earnings. On the 25th. What do you think? Tell me. I'm done. I'm not going to change my price prediction yet. I just wanted to come in and show you where we could potentially be headed over the long term, right? Look at that. Okay. I'm just saying. Stay ahead of the game. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. I'm done. Go ahead and give me your thoughts, your perception as to where you think NVIDIA is about to go uh, prior to and after earnings on the 25th. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always, trade different.